January, the time of year when most of us set our New Year's resolutions. These resolutions are usually personal and relate to giving up maybe certain food items or increasing our physical activity. We all know that attempting to change a behaviour and maintain this can be really, really difficult. The financial tax year runs from the 6th of April to the 5th of April of the following year. Why do so many people get their habits all wrong and all mixed up? How? By only utilising at the end of each tax year the allowances the government give annually in regards to pension and ISA contributions. Far too many people keep ISA contributions in their savings accounts until the end of the tax year and then run around frantically trying to pay in every April. An ISA can have £20,000 invested into it each and every year. Left in a cash-based account earning 0.1% per annum would mean the value at the end of this year would be £20,020. Now, if you invest that into an ISA annually for the purpose of long-term planning and the growth is, say, 5%, your balance at the end of the year, with a little help of the eighth wonder of the world compound interest, would be £21,000. Start a new habit or behaviour. Create a new tax year resolution. Utilise the allowances the government give you for your ICEs and pensions from the very first day of every new tax year.